Welcome to our platform for investor education. My name is S.G. Badrinath. I have been teaching and studying financial markets and equity markets for the last 30 years. Two students who are undergraduates or MBAs in both the United States and in India. Over this period of time, I have worn several hats. I have been an investor, almost always. I have been a trader occasionally. I have been a consultant. I have managed money. I have uh, been a scholar who writes papers that unfortunately for me, very few people actually get to read. Uh, <clears throat> at the moment, I hold the Canara Bank Chair of Finance at the Indian Institute of Management in Bangalore. I write about financial markets, but from the point of view of the households. For 20 years, I have written in newspapers, magazines, some television shows, podcasts, radio, digital, social media, workshop, the works, to take my message of financial empowerment to the households. Many of these lessons I've managed to plug back into policy and regulation, but the one thing that my takeaway has been is that every household wants their money to do better, but they simply don't know how. And that's what we hope to crack with this series. I am Monica Hallen. I am consulting editor with Mint and the author of the best-selling book, Let's Talk Money. So, well, if, if this kind of traditional life insurance policy is not either, neither investment nor, in, nor insurance, insurance right. maybe sh people should be thinking about, you know, what we call, we think of as term life policies. Right. Absolutely. Perhaps where you're just saying, you're buying just pure insurance. You're saying, yeah. if I happen to die in the next 10 years, then my dependents, whoever, will get X. Right. So Absolutely. is that something that... That's the only policy and also who needs to buy? Somebody who has dependents. Right. You know, suppose you're not married, you don't have a family, you don't have parents who look after, who you depend on your income. You actually don't need insurance. For tax saving, there is a basket of 10 other products, which includes a mutual fund. ELSS schemes mm -hmm. are mm -hmm. part mm -hmm. of that basket, your provident fund, your uh, uh, PF, PPF, oh, no, there's a whole basket. So don't get, people should not get tricked into buying insurance just because it gives you a tax break. There are 15, 20 other products which do exactly the same. Mm -hmm. So the mm -hmm. term policy is the cheapest policy to buy. So a 30 year old buying a crore of cover, it'll cost him 8,000 rupees a year, that's it. And that's it's a fixed premium that. over this period? Does it, is there an inflation so clause unlike, or escalation clause? Unlike a health insurance cover, once you buy into a term premium, mm -hmm. it gets locked. Okay, so you pay 8,000 a year flat. You just pay 8,000 a year. For that for, term? For, for the term that you have bought, yeah. it's an annual contract, so you must remember to renew the policy. Because I'm sure they won't you, let you forget, right? You see, that is it's not true because the older you get, there's an exponential jump in the premium at the, at the inflection point of 40. Okay. So if you miss that uh, premium anniversary and then you have to buy a new term cover, the insurance policy actually will, can get you back for a much higher premium. So, I mean, yeah, they will send you reminders, but it's really up to you also to remember. I because see, it's I a see. product that works for you, the agent makes very little commission. They will not want to sell it to you, but mm -hmm. that is what you have to go after. So once you understand why you need life insurance, it's a product you actually go out and buy yourself. So you buy it online, it is 40% cheaper because you've cut out the agent commission. So you, you must buy it if you have dependents, you buy 10 times of your annual income, you buy it online and you invest the difference. So yeah, if you were- That's the point, that's that is right. exactly the point. You know, why bundle up insurance and investment into something which isn't yeah. giving you neither? That's right. You buy term, which is pure insurance. And the rest of the money that you would have saved by not buying into a full life whole traditional policy, you invest in whatever financially appropriate Products, investment product yeah. that appeals yeah. to your level of risk and all that kind of stuff. Absolutely. And uh, so when you talk to somebody who's in their 40s and you talk of investing mistakes I made, at number one is buying insurance policies for investment. Anybody you speak to, they are sitting on 10, 15 dud products. And when you look at really what you have in your basket, mm -hmm. it's not doing anything. So buy your term policy if you need it, invest the difference. And of course, as we get along, we'll understand that you have to invest it into markets for long-term wealth creation. Mm -hmm. But this habit of buying products which help make money for the agents and the insurance companies has to stop. No, I, I couldn't agree more. But you know, I know that in the mutual fund industry, there have been some 
efforts by regulators to sort of affect the sort of commission structure that salesmen are getting. But I'm, is much of that happening in insurance as yet no, or it's not? Not at all. There is a stranglehold of the agency on the way that insurance companies and the regulator also thinks. So there is, so insurance reform has been the toughest because of the incumbency. And really when you open the product up, you realize every product that you look at, the complexity is such that mm -hmm. you really again need a degree in law, finance, mathematics to figure it out. So when we decode policies, every policy decode takes two to three hours and that's when we know how to do it. For an average person, For a person they, just, who doesn't. Yeah. they just look at what the agent is telling them that one lakh will become five lakh. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. over what period of time? If yeah, it's going to take 20 years, you're going to be getting negative return. But so if you come back to that kind of argument that okay, you will need about 10 times your average your annual income yeah. as life cover, then who do you buy it from? Where do you buy it from? There are many ranges of companies offering right. these products. So you buy are there guidelines that's right. that you there have are. For so people? you buy online, you save on the agent commission. You must absolutely go for a medical test, especially if it's a high value, the company will also insist on it. Because remember, if there was a pre-existing which you did not disclose, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. spouse for whom you are buying this high cover will not get that money. I because see. you had a pre-existing, you did not disclose, so go for that medical test. Let them put that, let them load the premium if they have to. But really, if this is risk mitigation, then you need to do the due diligence. Then you're, so go for, buy online, go for a cheap premium, but also look at the claims experience. The company that you're buying from should have has it? honored mm -hmm. 95 out of 100 claims at least. Okay. Because those are some of the thumb rules on how to buy this product, which nobody wants to sell you. Okay, okay. No, I think thumb rules are good for our audience, you know, but we're also sort of telling them that they have to do some amount of homework of their own. That's right. And that and is why... That unfortunately, we, nobody likes being told that they have to do homework, but... That's right. And this know, is why we will come back and talk about this again. So, as we've talked uh, so far, uh, buying term life, insurance policies and investing the difference helps you create a safety net for your family and lets you deploy the rest of your assets for investment purposes towards wealth creation. We are not going anywhere. Come back and catch up with this series again. Mm -hmm.